Thank you, Lord. Praise God. For you and you alone are worthy. You may be seated, church. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy, God. Praise God. Praise God. I woke up this morning and I had a thought in my mind. This, this morning and I want to share. I want each and every one of us to focus on what I'm going to say. Every one of us that is in this sanctuary huh. and every one of us that is out this sanctuary. If you are a human being Come on now. or an animal. Yes, sir. We each were born into this world. Yes. Animals are born into this world and you and I were born into this world. Right. I heard you, Brother Zeno. And it stuck with me in my memory. And just like each and every one of us was born into this world, All right. we got to be born again of the water and of the spirit in his kingdom. to go into the spiritual world. Amen. 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 I want gravity to lose its hold. Sense. Gravity is going to lose its hold on our feet. Every animal upon the face of this world was born yes. into this world, Pastor. On this and every human being on this was born into this world by natural childbirth. And brothers and sisters, to go to heaven, uh, we gonna have to be born again, again of the water and of the spirit a new birth. to reign with Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah! I heard it and it stuck in my mind, and I tell you, I'm excited. That is so powerful. Amen. Yes, it's it a is. very true statement. Yes, it is. It's a very true statement. Amen. I thought you don't know. Jesus said, "Flesh and blood." Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God is so good. I honor you. 
I reverence you. I, you. So I fear and reverence your name. I want to turn to the book of John. Chapter 3, begin reading at verse 16 and verse 17. Praise God. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God. When the Lord reads this, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have the last life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. My God, Jesus. Love comes a multitude of sin. Come on now. Thank you. you know, it would be like someone committed murder. They killed someone. And someone came to that person's rescue and said, listen, I'm going to take your place. I'm going to go before the jury. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to take your sentence. My God. If your sentence is life, All right. I'm going to do life for you. Life in prison. And I'm going to let you walk through. That's something. That's a truth, yeah. But what God did, God sent his son. Come on now. Jesus. He formed a body and created himself and he placed himself within the body. My God, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. For God so loved the world. Amen. God loves every one of us. Come on. He died. He Hallelujah. He made a way for each and every one of us. You know, Jesus is good. God is good. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. And he that loveth God dwelleth in love. Yes. And God in him. Oh, yes. Church, love is so very powerful. Yes. It's a very powerful force. Yes. My God. But remember, the Bible said, for God so loved the, the world. world. God loved his creation. Yes. He created each and every one of us in likeness of him. He loved his creation. Come on, Brother Zeno. Brother, about. he loved the creation that he created yes. so much that he died and shed innocent blood Teach. on the cross. Teach that. For each and every yes, one of us. For a way of escape. Amen. For not going to hell. Hallelujah. Church. 
everything that you feel. Teach everything. that. Yeah. You know, I told someone yesterday, my wife and I went and visit. And I told them, I said, you know what? You ain't to see the church. My God. I said, you know what? All you got to do is do what the Bible commands us to do. It's not rocket science. And live for God Amen. the best that you can according as to the word as you can. And come to church. Yeah. Be faithful in little things. He said he'll make you ruler over many things. Many things. That was so hard about that. Pastor. I mean, it's so self-explanatory that a child can even a can understand the word. And I promise you, if you put him first, yes, according to his word, he said everything else will fall in place. You can take that's the key. That's the key to our life, church. Yes, sir. And the key to the other life. Yes. All we got. Don't worry about nothing. Because whatever is going to come our way is going to come regardless of the worry of God. Amen. Come in, church. But here's the key. Here's the key that unlocks the door, the nugget. All right. If you put Jesus first. Yes. Everything else will work itself. I promise you. It's going to work itself out of time. And it's going to blow my mind and your mind. Because Jesus is going to work. It's a guarantee. He's going to work it out for our good. To prove to us as his creation. That's real talk. That he is our God. Yes, Lord. And he is our Savior. That's, that's good. What a mighty God to serve you. Amen. Because the Lord is yeah. the Lord Jesus. God loves you. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, Lord, I'm telling you, God loves us. Let's just read a couple of scriptures. And uh, let's, let's, let's turn to the book of Romans, please. Romans, the fifth chapter. And uh, we're going to begin reading at verse 9. Oh, sweet Jesus. God is so good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My God, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. Praise my God. Lord, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. The first game reads this. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Romans, the fifth chapter, begin reading in verse 8. And the word of the Lord reads this. But God commended his, his love toward us. In that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Did you hear what the word of God said? While we were yet sinners. Thank God for the word. Oh, I thank you. I thank you for Calvary. Thank while we were yet sinners. I thank you for God's sake, church. I wanted to say. While we were yet sinners, yes. Jesus died for us. That means, and that lets me know that He died for the whole entire All of humanity. But yet His word commanded us. It's a commandment of God that we must church. Not maybe, but we must, must. be born again. Amen. Of the water and of the spirit. You know when Nicodemus was heard dead, and he came to the Lord by night. Yeah. And he said, Rabbi, I perceive that thou art a man of God. Yes, Lord. One that comes from God. Because no man can do these miracles. What you do. And thou do it. He perceived it. Yeah. He noticed it. Only God. But Jesus loved him enough to tell him the truth. Yes, sir. Amen. He said, except a man is born again of the water and the spirit, H2O and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That's a fact. What's so hard about this? He oh, was Lord, literally Lord. telling Nicodemus, you got to be born again. Yes. And then the demons made a statement, Pastor, that corresponded with what I said earlier. What do you mean? I got to climb back into my mama's womb? He didn't know. Right. He didn't have a clue. Because he knew that he was born into this world. I love his mama's womb. Yeah. And that's what I said earlier. Each and every one of us was born from our mother's womb. Come on. Whether it was natural. 
Bible birth, whether it was sincere, we still came forth from our mother's womb. And Nicodemus proceeded and he asked Jesus a question. Come on. What do you mean I have to go back into the womb? Right. He missed it. Jesus said. Nicodemus missed it. He said, but you must be born again of the water. Come on now. It's such a beautiful thing. I can remember back. That's the truth. I can remember back when I went down emerged completely. Oh yeah. Water, not spring. Come on. And not to be criticized. I remember the day. Or not to criticize anything. Right. But I can remember, brother, when I went down in the water, emerged completely under the name of Jesus spoken over me. And when I came out of the water, God gave me the Holy Ghost. I began to speak in tongues as the Spirit of God gave me. Just like His Word said. I experienced it, and you experienced it, just like they experienced it on the day of Pentecost. Yes. Amen. Amen. Come on. And I've been different ever since. Yes. I might have gotten off course sometimes. But thank God through the blood of Jesus that I got back on course. God got me back on course. Amen. 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 But yes, his love, his love, God always did deal with us. Always. Sir. Through love. Yes, sir. Through love. Amen. Because there are people out there that hate us with passion. Tell us, Brother Zeno. That's because they don't have the love or the food of this. That's a fact. But we have the fruit of the Spirit and we have the love of God oh in our heart. Yeah. That's why the Holy Ghost commands each and every one of us, you and I, to go out into the highways and byways and compel them. It's the love of God that's going to draw them to the church. That's what I'm gonna telling you, love comes a multitude. That's what's going to bring them. They already been down in the mother grub and they don't want nobody climbing on them and bringing them deep. That's a Draw them some love. Yeah. Some mercy. Throw them a some on. concern. Amen. Compassion. Be like the good Samaritan. Be compassion. Don't just walk over them but stop and attend it. Mend the broken heart. Be compassionate. Jesus said, greater work shall ye do that. Yes, Jesus. And we have that hope that lies within each and every one. My God, Jesus. 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 Think about it. Just let it think about it. You have the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. That is the Spirit of Jesus inside of you. Walking, talking, living through you. Because we can't live and walk this life without Jesus. Ain't that the truth? We can't do it, church. No, sir. But if the Lord does it through us, Amen. Oh, we are just blessed. Come on. Every Amen. moment I will be blessed. Every 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 moment I will be blessed. Yeah. I gotta get it, brother. Come on. And if I'm sick, I pray that God to heal my body. Yes, and I'm going to work. Amen. Amen. But you know, we just so blessed. Yes. yes. Just so blessed. I can take that to God. Just overlook the goodness and mercy and blessing of God. Hey, God's been good to us, church. Too good. We all go through bad times.
and seek the face of God and ask for direction of God and ask for leadership and guidance. I'm telling you, I've got a broken spirit. Come on now. And I've got a beautiful spirit. Ah. I've been in tune with my Savior. My God, Jesus. And you can know God. You can know Prayer changes things. The Bible says the effectual firm of prayer of a righteous man. Of a righteous man. Come on now. You can know when you're walking in the Spirit and when you're not. You know. God is good, church. And God is good. He's been too good to us. Uh, I'm telling you, God is good. I told that same couple that my wife and I were talking to yesterday. I told him, I said, I'm so happy, Brother Gary, that a man ain't got to judge. Come on now. <laughs> ain't that the truth? And sister, if men had to judge us, he'd be in bad trouble. Bad trouble. Big time trouble. I thank God that God is going to judge each and every one of us. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. And that's why we got to repent. We got to get our sins. We got to get everything under the blood. Because tomorrow is not promised. We got to get it right. But we got to get our priorities right. Today. In order for us to face right now. Because I'm telling you, church, this is it. God is love. Yes, sir. You're on your way, God. You're on your way. He loves us. Yes. You know, brother and sister, when someone's going to take my place and make a way for me, okay, that person is not only saying that he loves me, but he's showing, he's showing it that he loves me. Yes. You can't take from the thief on the cross. I promise you, you can't tell him any different. Remember me. That's exactly when you come into your kingdom. Remember. And Jesus said, today. Remember my name. Today, not tomorrow, no, but today. When, when we die on this cross, right. and you open your eyes again. What, is, what, 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 what words of encouragement? We're going to be in paradise. Knowing that when you go up, you're gone. You're leaving. The life is draining from the body. But to know that when you go, when you open your you eyes again. Jesus. Amen. Yeah. 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 You know, a lot of times we make scenarios. I might be late for supper. I don't want to miss supper. I don't, I don't want to be late for the rapture. That's all irrelevant. But I don't want to miss the rapture. I don't want to be late for the rapture. I do not want to miss the rapture at all. This is why I try my best to stay ready and live it for God. Yes. yes. And, and, and when you got the love of God in your heart, yes. it's not hard to live. That's the truth. It's an easy thing. You can live hard for him. People make it hard. Because they don't want to come under. And they don't, they don't want to surrender their will. So there is a total war. But when you surrender your will unto God. And just let it go. And say, Lord, whatever, Lord. You take over. I'm telling you. You'll be a happy. Not my will, but yours be done. There's no one in this church can tell me that God is not a deliverer. Because He delivers some things for too many times. And ain't nobody can tell you that God is not a deliverer. Because God has delivered things from you. You've come too late to tell me He Because if those things were still attached to us, we would not be the servant of Christ. Ain't that the truth? So we had to let it go with God.
And he wants us to love one another. We're a royal He wants us to unite in unity. He wants us to come together in one mind and one accord. He don't want us fussing and fighting and bickering. Don't fight between yourselves. Because the devil is the accuser of the brethren. Not Jesus. God is love. And this is what we talk about. God is love. Yes. There's peace in the midst of the storm. Not turmoil. God is love. Not fear. And when I live God's my life, I can talk about me. When I look at my life as an individual and see where God is took me from. Right. Brothers and sisters, I'll tell you what. I want to go back to what I want. And you can say the same testimony. Because the Bible says we overcome by the blood of the land and by the by word, word of our testimony. Each and every one of us has a testimony in this building. That's right. Our story is for his glory. That's right. God is going to change a person. Because he loves that person. Yes, he does. And he wants that person to draw closer to him. Yes, sir. Because God is right. And he's right there. My Lord and my God. And I'm telling you, it's so important, church. But you got to understand. Just like each and every one of us was born into this world. We got to die. Flesh. Spiritually, to be with Jesus, we got to be reborn again. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, now, what's hard about like that? It's two fours. We born in the flesh. Yes. And we gotta be born back again in the spirit of him. Amen. Because if we don't have the spirit of God new birth. dwelling within us, the Bible says that we never need. My God. That's what God wants. Help me, Jesus. And the fruit of the spirit is so very important. Yes, Lord. That's why the Bible says, walk in the spirit that you might not fulfill the lust of That's the truth. Oh, let me tell you what this flesh is. It is something. It's hard. But when you come to this flesh and put this flesh under subjection and tell this flesh in your place, you're not going to do this and you're not going to do that. But you're going to do what God is going to say. You're looking for a tug of war. Somebody's going to win. Come on. My God, Jesus. But when you conquer your flesh, yeah. I'm telling you, oh, it's a beautiful life. Yes. Yeah. It's a beautiful life. My God. Yeah. It become natural. It become part of you, Pastor. Yeah. It's, no, it's not hard. No. no. Amen. It's easy. Amen. All we got to do is just do what the Bible tells us to do. We're going up. Amen. And there's nothing hard. Then you'll go up. So if you have not been born again in Jesus' name, and if you have not received the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name, you need these elements. Before you leave this house. I'm sorry, that's God's word. You need before you leave that this house. element to be fulfilled in your life and my life before we leave this earth and in order to go to heaven. We cannot go to heaven. Without being born again. Right. We got to be born again. That's the right. purpose and reason of that is to have our sins repaired. Amen. Sins cannot enter into God's kingdom. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. That's why when we die, our spirit goes up, but our body goes down. It stays here. Because we have another body waiting for us. That's awaiting us. A body that's just like Jesus will be just like him. We'll do exactly what he's doing. Walking through walls, etc. I want my new body. And don't think we're going up there just to sit up. No. That's what we're going to rule the reign. He said he'll make us priests and kings. That's what we're going to do. that we made it, brother. Yeah. That was it's worth the way it is. It's worth the fight. Yes. Amen. And we made it all. It's a blessing to live for God. It's a blessing. Just know that you're walking true. 
And to know that Jesus lives in you. To know that God has given you the Holy Ghost. And you've got everything under the blood. Yeah. And the love of God is shining more through your heart. We want to meet you in peace. So when you can walk in people, trust me, people is going to know. They're going to know. People can identify. The Bible says, let your light so shine before me. Why? That they may glorify your heavenly Father. Yes, sir. Yep.
together in heavenly places. My God. This may not mean much to you, but I'll tell you what it It moves me. It moves me. It moves me. It thrills my soul. Just to know again that a God in the heaven. Ah. Let the throne, brother, and rule himself in a flesh body and allow that body to be tortured, ridiculed, on a trafficure. Oh, you call it, you name it. But yet found without sin. And he knew that he had to go the way of God. Because he saw you and I ah, in the future. Pastor, you probably said to himself, if I don't go in, you won't be saved. Right. They don't have I a chance. Never one of us be saved. But he endured the cross. He endured the He endured it all. Amen. And just the thing. The chastisement of all the things was a point. In return is to live. <laughs> My God, Jesus. I tell you what. What an exchange. That's the truth. I mean, he paid the price. He took it all. He paid the price. Oh, God. And here's the road been paid, and all we got to do is. I thank you for it. Because the price has been paid. I worship you and adore you for it. It took precious blood. You know, the blood of an individual had to be trained yes. for us to sit together in him. Oh, Jesus. And you mean to tell me you come into the house of God, into God's sanctuary, uh, and you can't surrender your will under that God? Something's wrong. He didn't send no for you, and he didn't send no for me. No. He endured pain and suffering. He endured the cross. Unspeakable pain. And here we all go through our little talk our little persecution, our little life. And we can't Surrender our will unto God. The Bible says, if any man like wisdom, do what? Yeah. You gotta open your mouth and ask. It's all about that. If I don't have a question for something, I'm going to my pastor. I'm going to ask. Open your mouth and ask. And I get my answer. That's why John gave us a tongue. That's why he gave you a tongue. That's all he asked. Just ask. We got to trust it. Just ask it. Amen. Let me say this. If we are sincere in our heart, and we really, truly, sincerely want to know who Jesus is, that's the bottom line, Brother Jesus. And we really, sincerely, out of our heart, want to know if this is the truth. That's the bottom line. If this is the truth, my God will make a way. Where there is no you can take it to the bank. Fill that answer and get it to you on me. To show you and show me it's a show that of his words can be true. Right. Amen. You ain't got to look no further and I don't have to look no nowhere else. else. Amen. Because this is the truth. This is it. Walk ye therein. The Bible says when a man finds a great precious pearl, a great pride, what does he do? He sells everything. All that he has. He buys everything. That one pearl. Because that pearl is genuine. Yes, and I promise you, according to the word of God, the Bible is, let every man be alive, but let the word of God stand. Everything that I have. Brother, let me tell I'll you. wrap it in this. Without any flaws, without any stammering, any shaking, I can tell you, out of a true heart, I'm going to my grave. Yes. And what I'm facing to see. Yes. And ain't nothing going to change me around. You can quote me. Because around. I am in the truth. Yes. And the truth yes. is in me. It's in me. And you can quote me on that. You need to look no further. Because this is the truth. This is it. This is it. Plant yourself in this true church. And I promise you. You'll be saved. Amen. If you live according to the word of God. Everything I got. And you be obedient in what we preach behind the pulpit from our pastor. I'm telling you, you're going to bump boy heaven wide open. 
Yeah. You gonna walk in, it's gonna be joy. Yes. Yes. Because you're gonna make it. You don't have to look no further. Because this is Whoa. true. This is true. Oh. We're gonna make it. Now I'm not saying this is true. Only you know, only church. There's other churches right. that in Jesus' name. The same thing we are. Oneness churches. Pentecostal churches. Yes. <laughs> People that live this life. Worldwide. But I'm telling you, as for being here, yes, you need to live more. You're home. Because you're home and your answer has you're been delivered. You're a home family. Your answer has been delivered. Everybody is home. All of you are welcome here. And you're a family. They hold on eternally. Hold on to this. And let God manifest himself and show his goodness and mercy unto you. Yes, And allow himself to be real in your life. Yes, yes, yes. Because I'm telling you, Jesus. God is on you. Yes, he is. God. Yes, yes, God. Yes, yes. You're our family and we love you. I tell you what, hey, to God be the glory. I'm yes. telling each and every one of you all that you probably can say the same thing. I can pass by an individual and I can pick up their spirit. Yeah. That's right. It don't take Hey, I'm telling you, I'm being real with you. I sense it. to God, I can pass by you and see before you even talk and I can pick your spirit up. I sense it. And each and every one of us ought to be the same because we have the same spirit. Which is of God. I sense you. Come on now. That's right. I can sense your spirit. We should be in that place. I walk in the store and I can pick up a homosexual spirit before you just walk. Within a heartbeat. All you gotta do is walk out. That's right. I got you. Come on now. Hey, I'm talking about spirits. Discerning of spirits. Come on now. I'm telling you. My wife asked me a lot of times, how do you know that? I said, it, it, it's gone. It's like radar. It's gone. It's the spirit of God that dwells. It's like it's radar. radar. It's so yeah. That's why the Bible says, try the spirit and see whether it be of God. Don't believe everybody telling you anything. You better try that spirit. A lot of false things. Oh, oh, they are tickling people's ears. Come on now. They're telling people you can shake a preacher's head, sign a church roll, and you're saved. Get into the church. That's a lie.
culture is my brother and sister. Because I love people. I got love for people. I love you. I'm really I love them all. Sometimes people come around and they'll say this is it at my wife and her baby. Don't want to see what's being out. And then here I go home. I got to you. Because I love you. I'm really sincere. Yeah, I really care because we I gotta have a love with the good book said. And if we don't do what that book said, I know we're going to hell. That person is going to hell. You good? Listen, it's real talk. Come on, brother Seal. Amen. Except you abide in the ship. You got to abide in the ship. Tell it like it is. Yes, yes sir. You got to do what God commands. Yes, sir. You can't sugarcoat it. God is love, Jim. Yes, he is. Love each and every one of you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah.